Let's get started by reviewing a user's role settings. Be sure you're logged in as a user with administrative privilege so that you have access. Expand the user menu, click Admin, then click User Management in the Users area. In Sugar, roles are used to control the user's ability to interact with records within each module. While a user's team or teams determine which records they can interact with, their roles determine how they interact. Let's review Michael's role information by selecting him in the user list and then clicking the Access tab. Now that we've seen Michael's information, let's create a new role. Expand the User menu, click Admin, but this time click on Role Management to access the Roles module. Hover over the Roles module and then click Create Role. Typically you create a role for a group of users who share similar needs and responsibilities within your organization. We will name this role Sales Rep and enter Sales Rep role in the description. By default, all options are not set, meaning the role has no effect on the user's capabilities. Click Save to save the role. You can double-click the cell in the role matrix to change the desired setting. Let's remove access to the bug tracker for the Sales Rep role. We can do this by double-clicking the cell in the Access column across from the bug tracker row to change the Not Set value to Disabled. This will hide the Bug Tracker module and associated subpanels for any users with this role. You can also use the Access Type to control the access the user has in the second column. For example, changing this to Admin for the Contacts module allows a user to see all contacts regardless of Teams. Choosing Developer allows a user to access developer tools related to the Contacts module. Admin and Developer combine both of these options. The rest of these columns restrict a particular action for each module. A value of Not Set, or All, allows the user to perform a given action on every record to which their team memberships grant access. Choosing Owner means they can only perform this action on records where they are the assigned user. And the None setting, in this example, would prevent the user from being able to delete any accounts. Be sure to click Save to save your change. You can also set restrictions for individual fields. First, click on the module, in this case Opportunities, and then find the relevant field Opportunities Amount. These first two options will not restrict the user, while the remaining choices offer different levels of restriction. Choosing Owner Read, Owner Write, for example, will make this field non-visible and non-editable for all but the assigned user and any system admins. We will use that setting, then click Save. You can also delete a role or duplicate it to create a role with similar controls. Now let's assign a role to a few users by selecting them in the user subpanel. Click Michael's and Jacob's checkboxes, then click the Select button. Let's say Michael is going on vacation and Jacob is going to fill in while he's out. Click Jacob Miller in the user subpanel, then click the Access tab. Scroll down to the role subpanel, then click Select. Then click on the Sales Administrator role, then click the Select button you can see a user's resulting capabilities on the Access tab of their user profile. Any changes you make will take effect the next time the user logs into Sugar. With Sugar Roles, you get simple yet extensive control over your user's capabilities and fine-tuned protection for your business's data.